look at more examples to understand it further how about if you have to differentiate 3 sine squared x with respect to x so we're going to let y be equal to that and then basically we're going to introduce a lien to both sides and this is what we end up having and then next we're going to bring the powers to the left hand side so the powers right now are sine squared x now before we differentiate anything we can actually see that we can act we actually have to change this uh, from powers to actually a double angle but remember from trigonometry that cos 2x was equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x so remember now from this formula 2 sine squared x shall be equal to 1 minus cos 2x of which sine squared x can be equal to 1 minus cos 2x over 2 so that's actually going to be more useful for us now let's multiply the ln 3 within and that's what we end up having so now we can actually now get the derivative of cos 2x we can actually use our chain rule we're going to let t be the 2x and u shall be equal to cos 2x so dt dx is 2 and then u therefore shall be cos t and then du dt is negative sine t of which from chain rule we'll have a negative sine t times 2 which is going to be equal to negative sine t but remember t is 2x so therefore we have a negative sine negative 2 sine 2 x so therefore it means our d dy dx shall be equal to that so on the left hand side we'll have 1 over y dy dx equal to so here we have a 0 and then lean 3 over 2 uh, times this value right there now this is a constant uh, attached to this so we're going to leave it as e it is so now we're left with dy dx being equal to y sine 2x lean 3 because now we can see this negative multiplies with this negative so there will be a positive so this two and this two cancel so this is what we're left with but we remember that y is equal to that so now put it back there and then we have the final answer of dy dx being equal to the value as we've discovered